wa ase bunge ye senate abu ase ekina ke yetuwe na ba mca giyoko ganya kumwaka isiko mgavana wa county ya meru maswati kawira mwangaza ase bono ni go kogendrete go tegererwa agati ya mamocho ako mochigwa na ba mca meronge ene na kianda au ba agete kura yoko tebae arusiwe asabisi ngati yobo tumekio bobebu abisi okobunu akwa machiko no mgavana no yuka wira mwangaza na ba igobo tumekio bobe wechibesa chiyo serekali ya nene na ba iga serekali ye county digango nko ilu wika se senate tota garele na kuligirilia nganki giga ndire taroro asi chinga kechi rabo kawera mwangaza the governor of meru county the charges against you as received from the county assembly of meru are as follows charge number one gross violation of the constitution and other laws that the governor has grossly violated, among others, Articles 10 to 27, 41, 47, 73, 232, 235, 236, and 251 of the Constitution, to Sections 10, 15, 19, and 24 of the Public Officer Ethics Act 2003, Three, sections 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 1, B, F, 21, 29, and 59 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012. Four, sections 2, 33, 45, 55, 58, 59, 59, A, 63, 64, 65, and 69 of the County Governments Act 2012. Five, section four of the Public Appointments County Assemblies Approval Act. Six, section four of the Fair Administrative Action Act. Seven, section six of the Meru County Investment and Development Corporation Act. Eight, Section 97B of the Meru County Revenue Board Act. 9. Section 106 of the Meru County Investment and Development Corporation Act. And 10. Section 19 of the Meru County Water and Sanitation Services Act. When we contacted, when she saw the response, she filed an affidavit which is yet to be placed on record before this Honorable Senate, but filed with the office of the clerk to the assembly, dated 18th of August 2024. Mr. Speaker, sir, the risk of us not summoning these two individuals, and especially Mr. Jacob, to come and tell us whether the county assembly ever received those uh, letters from the, uh, the, the county governor, will be that they, we shall proceed on the basis of evidence that has criminal liability, that has criminal aspects, will proceed to answer and to hear a case and a defense that is tainted with illegality. That means, Your, Your Honor, so that means, Mr. Speaker, sir, that Article 50 of the Constitution shall be infringed, a right to a fair hearing which must and shall not be derogated. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is alleged by the response at paragraph 54 to 56 of the Co governor's Council response. Council for the uh, County Assembly. Yes, sir. Are you still on the request? Yes, sir. I, I paid off of that. You're still I, on the preliminary issue? I seek your guidance. I paid off that. We seek the summoning of Virginia. So let's dispense with that first. Then yes. you may proceed to to make your opening statement. Yeah, in the alternative, if these are not going to be summoned, we seek to expunge from record the affidavit of one 